1.20 came out a month ago, and I just now updated my game. Yeah, I'm kinda late to this party. It's safe to say there's a lot to do in this episode. I'm tired of seeing videos of other people exploring this update, it's time to get my hands on it. Wow, that was incredibly fast. Ooh, this is pretty close to the base. And this is the first sus gravel in this world. Oh, another tr Okay, hang on. Now, before I was so rudely interrupted, the first sus gravel. And we got a nugget. Okay. And this is coal. Okay. Thought that was assured. And an emerald. Oh. Ooh. That's assured. That's assured. Let's go. I don't need every shirt, but a lot of them would be nice. Just to just to have a little collection, you know, a little little something to show off. Maybe open a museum or something. That's what you do with pottery shirts, right? Yeah. I don't want to waste too much time at these cold ocean ruins, so I think I'm going to move on. And actually, we're going to go back to the base real fast. Hello, gorgeous. We need some night vision potions. And I think we're going to make more than that. That, that'll be enough. Maybe a cup of water breathing. Perfect. And we're off again. Oh my goodness. I completely forgot about the Admiral. And I deleted the chunk that he was on. Well, I... I won't tell him if you don't tell him. Capiche? We'll make another statue. Just... just not today. Oh, no. No, no way it's that easy. My base is literally right over there. If I turned up my render distance. Big old lag spike. Base right there. Mob farm. Cherry grove. Huh? And this that I flew over. It's going to be a good day. We're going to find a lot of these ocean ruins. Is there going to be like a trident guy at each of these? And how many of them are going to drop tridents? Because I would like more than just one. Oh, two guys. Y'all came feisty today, huh? Oh, I am in a pickle. Okay, out of the pickle. Still in no pickle. Nailed it. Oh, there's a child. There's a kid. Get out of here. You guys are setting a very bad example for this child. Do I need to call- Oh, jeez. Um. Okay. We don't talk about that. Just let me get my shards. A shard. Dude, dude, dude. Just don't. Did you- You took my shard. Yeah, give that back. Hello. So far, we've gotten three unique shards. That's pretty good luck. That is wheat. That is a nugget. So I just got a fourth pottery shard, and you can only get four from these cold ocean ruins, so we're pretty much good to go from these. We don't really have to stop it anymore if we don't want to. Alright, we're gonna move on. Hello, village. You know, this is probably the closest we're ever gonna get to a cherry grove village, and that makes me sad. Because there is some real potential for some beautiful structures here. Hello, bees. Hello, sheep. Alright, we're gonna take an inconspicuous tree off to the edge here. A tree that has no friends and nobody likes, just like you. Editor's note, I wasn't talking about you. You have friends and you are valid and I love you. Sorry, tree. Oh, and we need some of these flowers. Aw, oh, this poor cherry tree. We should have got you, buddy. You are very much alone. Since we found that cherry grove so easily, I think our next objective is just going to be try and find as many of those armor trims as we possibly can. And keep an eye out for much warmer biomes than this, because I don't think a warm motion ruin is anywhere near here. But an outpost can have an armor trim, but will it? No, it will not. Okay. Very suspicious. Ooh, actually, a taiga. That's what we need. I completely forgot about trail ruins. Yeah, that's something we should look out for as well. This is really cool. I love how the rocks are just in the lake here. This is so cool looking. These trail ruins are going to be really hard to spot with all these rocks in the area. That's cool. Many unbearable hours later. That doesn't look like a trail ruin. That is an ancient city. That is a very scary ancient city. God, this is so dumb. Really want those diamonds, though. Now, if that one went off and a shrieker didn't go off, I'm going to guess... Okay, we're good. God, imagine if we got it on the first try. 
Now, it's actually a super low chance that we're going to find anything of value here other than, you know, like the obvious valuable stuff that comes in ancient cities. But the armor trim that I'm looking for, the super rare one, is like super rare. And I've seen a lot of people go to like six, seven ancient cities and still not find one. So I don't think we're going to get that lucky. That's strike number two. Nope. I don't see this ending well. Please, no warden. Diamonds! Whoa, double whammy. You're both disappointments. You know, the dripstone caves makes it look like that actually has teeth, and I am all for that. That looks awesome. I am being super reckless now. This is only my first ancient city. Today. This is only my first ancient city today. Yep, yep, that's, that's a warden, and there's nothing there. Oh, oh, that was very close for comfort. Pretty sure I just touched that warden. <laughs> yep. Sadly, this ancient city was a complete bust. We only got one enchanted golden apple and none of the armor trims. So pretty much the worst ancient city possible. Disappointed. Outpost number two, what do you have? Do you have an armor trim? No, but you do have... Ooh, I don't think I have this one. Wonderful. There's something we could use. But I don't want to find a cow first. Oh. Uh, okay. And another one. Nice. So if our luck is really bad, we have two ocean monuments that we can explore. Excuse me, cow. Thank you. All right, Ocean Monument, show me what you got. Uh, first try? No, not first try. Second try? Get your tail back here. I wonder if looting has an effect on it. Mm, no? All right, one more fishy. Fishy, fishy, I'm here for your armor trim. Your scales? Is it your scales? Is that what I'm collecting from you? Uh, no, I'm not collecting your scales. Well, that was a bust. Here we go again. Uh, yes, yes, we got it. Nice. Beautiful. Alright, we're leaving. One's good enough. We can always just duplicate it. And that is ancient city number two. Off to a wonderful start. Oh my gosh, there is no way we got it on the second ancient city. I am at a loss for words. That, okay, good luck. Still need to find the other one though. And that is ancient city number three. Silence again? What? And there we go. That is all of the armor trim that we need. All right, now this is probably the thing that's gonna give me the most trouble. I really thought silence would have taken me a lot longer, but now I have a feeling it's gonna be this wild armor trim that has a chance of spawning at these jungle temples. And, yeah. And, oh, okay, never mind. That was really easy. I stand corrected. <clears throat> I mean, now it's going to be super hard for me to find a trail ruin. No. 
Damn, I thought that would work. Maybe Sentry will be the one that I struggle to get. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I just fell out of the sky. I have been looking for one of these for so long. Oh, you are a sight for sore eyes, my friend. I gotta get my brushes out. Alright, now let's see how many I can break. Ooh, is that a first shirt? Yes, it is. And an armor trim? I'll take it. Nice. This one was incredibly small and quite disappointing if I'm being honest. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have ourselves a mansion over here. I've been flying around for quite a while, and I think this might be my only opportunity to get the Vex armor trim. And I think it spawns in the chests here. So we're going to go ahead and set up a little refuge, and hopefully we don't get stuck in a death loop. Because that would not be super cool. Alright, I think we might die, but let's go. Hello. Uh, that was really easy. I feel like I've said that a lot this episode. I thought a lot of these were supposed to be harder to find. Let's hope I don't regret staying. It's a dude. Oh boy. Hide me, chicken. Okay, where is this guy? Ah, hello, friend. Awful way to treat your guests. And you. I think you're the culprit. Get over here. Why are they so fast? This one, were they fast? Oh, gosh. That's another one. Going the other way. Oh, all right. That is a creeper. That is another creeper and another one. I am popping off right now. It's like an active war zone. Well, that was fun. I think we've pretty much reached a point where we have everything that we can get in the overworld. We have every armor trim, we have every pottery shard, we've got the sniffer, the cherry saplings, and everything of importance. So there's really not much else we can do in the overworld. 
Now in front of me we have five shulker boxes of miscellaneous loot. And these here are the important ones. So like I said, we've got our cherry blossom saplings. We got the new music disc as well as the other side, which I don't think I have yet. The all important sniffer eggs, a spare trident, a couple of heads, a couple of goat horns, a lot of diamonds, an unreasonable amount of skeleton skulls, and a handful of enchanted golden apples. Now you may also see these down here. You see, I visited probably about seven ancient cities, and I kind of poached a lot of diamonds from those ancient cities, all that I could find at least. And that was almost a stack and a half of diamonds, which is pretty incredible, but I have something to confess. You see, I've been privy to a little off-camera mining, and... Well, I've got a lot of diamonds. It costs a whopping seven diamonds if I want to duplicate any of the trims that I have, and I have a high ambition of having a set of each armor trim. Hence why I spent so long looking for as many armor trims as I could get my hands on. The more armor trims I have, the less I have to duplicate. And we got a lot, but not enough. Now it was unlikely that I was going to get any more of the very rare ones like these two, but I did end up getting my hands on quite a lot of the unrare ones, which I'm fine with. The less diamonds I have to spend, the better. Now like I said, we also gathered each and every one of the pottery shards. All of these ones, I believe, come from the trail ruins. These four come from the desert temples. These four from the cold ocean ruins, these three from the warm ocean ruins, and these from the desert wells. It's a lot. And now onto the shulker boxes that have been staring us in the face this entire time. This one, quite proud of, are all swift sneak books. We are never going to need this many. I already have quite a few over here in this chest. But really, I just saw them and grabbed them because I thought it'd be cool to have a bunch. Over here is all of the good books that I found from the ancient cities and desert temples and the likes of that. This chest is all of the saddles that I found, plus a couple extra in a further chest. All of these are diamond horse armors. And then finally, a lot of hoes and two pairs of pants. But like I said, that's pretty much all the loot that we can get from the overworld. So now it's time to turn our attention to the end and the nether dimensions. From the end, we can get the spire armor trim. And then we can also get the eye armor trim from the end city that we find to get to the end. And the nether, that's a whole nother story. But we'll tackle that when we get to it. Now that we actually have all of the armor trims, it's time to make our armor. We're going to need two of these, so I'll have to duplicate that. And this one, which I'll also have to duplicate. Now I believe I'll need you and you. A little bit of you. Perfect. We'll put you back. We have an extra one just in case so we don't accidentally delete it. Into the bedroom that we never go to. Why is it so dark in here? I should probably put a torch down. We're going to take off all of our armor. Open up this and this one. Oh, I forgot the trim. Of course. All right. Trim in. Boots first. Silence. Perfect. Next, we'll do the helmet and the chinos. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially kitted out. Matching the purple glow of all my tools and the purple that we have on our shirt, this is such a beautiful set of armor. Armor trim was one of my favorite parts of 1.20, and I was super excited to get some on the armor. 
And in case you didn't know, I have a Discord, and in that Discord, I'm going to be asking y'all to send me some pictures of your armor trims and what you were able to come up with. I might have a friendly little fashion competition, who knows, but join the Discord so you don't miss out on that. Now the question is, what are we going to do with all of these extra trims? Well, I want to have a set of armor for each and every trim, plus an extra just in case we need it. Because like most people that you're going to see over the next month or so, I want to build a museum, or a smithing shop, or an armor trim show-off thingy, armory, whatever. We're going to build something, and we're going to display every single set of armor. But to do that, I'm going to need to duplicate these and get at least five of each trim. And some of these where I only have one, multiplying it four other times is going to take a lot of diamonds. And as I've alluded to earlier in this episode, I've been preparing just for this moment. Oh yeah, it's time. Real quick, we're going to take stock of our diamonds. We have 39 blocks and five left over. We're going to have a lot more after this. Going to need the trusty fortune pickaxe. And now we have to pick a spot to actually do this. Hmm. I want to do it near a beacon. And I think I have a beacon right here. Yes, this is the perfect spot. Oh boy, this is going to be so weird. Okay, we're going to do three by three. I think that'll be good. We'll have a stack tall, basically. God, this is so exciting. I've been holding on to these things for like a year. This is a magnificent sight. Look at that little cow down there. He's got no idea how rich we're about to be. Now, right now, before I mine all these diamonds, I want you to go down in the comments and guess how many diamonds we're gonna get from this. My guess is two stacks of diamond blocks, two diamond blocks left over, and eight singular diamonds. And whoever gets the closest guess, you can have a cookie. I don't know how you're gonna get that cookie, but you can have one. And last one, the final verdict. One, two, oh, 13 and three, darn. I honestly got a lot closer than I thought I was going to. I don't even know what to do with all these diamonds now. All right, well, I guess first things first, we'll work on duplicating these. That ate an incredible amount of our diamonds. But we certainly have a site to see for it. I also went ahead and made a bunch of netherite upgrade templates. Not because I really need netherite stuff anymore, but just to have, I guess. I mean, I did already upgrade practically all of my tools and two sets of backup armor, so I'm probably good for a while. But nevertheless, we have extras just in case we need them. Same with all of the armor trims. We should have just enough to make a set of armor for each of them and have one extra just in case. And of course, now we can flush out our diamonds a little bit more. Perfect. Aside from all the crafting things that we can do with this update, we've pretty much discovered everything new there is to discover in 1.20. I'd say this one has potential to be one of my most productive episodes, even though it was a month late. So I want to say thank you for your patience on this one, and as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.